push. That's not push. And see if I can do it. And push. <laughs> Except without without with your arms, not your legs. Is that? Yeah. So what it does is a guard will block. Guard will cause a, an attacker to like attacker to get like. Kind of stunned. I like a full stun, but like, I guess I don't know. That's all I meant to say, at least. Oh, hello, ghost. Treating, treating. Find this tree. Ow. Where's that go? See. I feel like I should just retreat again, but I don't know. Uh, I don't trust this at all. I'm going the right way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm kind of lost now. Um, I'm heading deeper into the forest accidentally. Yeah, I am. Chase far. That didn't work. Oh no! Oh, I even killed him too. Oh geez, that's eleven thousand. Well, it should be easy enough to get my um my souls back. Anyways, the colon. Let's see. Where was I? Oh yeah, oh yeah the system. So attacking, if you attack someone who's guarding, you'll kind of get like knocked back a bit. Like, like it's basically the pairing in this. And when they're knocked back, they're kind of open to an attack. So then you can attack them when they're stunned from this. Oh, not good. Just die in one hit. You hit the second shot. And then... Here, please don't fall off the ledge here. Alright, and then... Let's see. However, if you're guarding and they push you, you'll get stunned. Something you notice you can just push someone who's not guarding, but and it will kind of like knock them back a bit. But it won't really do the stun you'll want it to do if they're like if they're guarding. Oh, is that my souls right there? Oh, how convenient. No souls. I'm gonna retreat with you. And not fall off the ledge right there. Because the screen was being covered by. You recovered! Alright, anyways. So it's kind of a whole rock, paper, scissors system. 
and you, so you can outplay an opponent with a tier three weapon with but uh, by doing that. However, I will note, yeah, you probably still can outplay an enemy with your fists, even if they have a tier three weapon. But you're not going to have a good time with that. It's something I should note. And so, so like, you'll want at least a tier one weapon. I believe the spears would probably be the best possible option. So just like get a knife turned into a spear type of situation. I, at least in my opinion, the spears seem to be best because they got range. That seems useful. Especially if you're taking out someone with a ranged weapon. So you don't need to be as close to actually hit them and knock that out of their hands. Alright, level up. Alright. Six, six. Four, one. Alright, so I'm at 70 equip load. Oh, wait, that bumped it up too, didn't it? Huh. Thing, unless oh maybe not because I went back and grabbed another level. Um, let's see. thirty-five point eight. I think it's just thirty-five. That's what it's at right now. Uh, night armor. Let's see, so if I go back and get baller armor. So now I'm at. 33.1, I can go 1.9 more, that's not 1.9 more. Um, I don't have like balder, oh I can, I can equip that actually. So It's too bad I don't have like balder gauntlets. Balder armor, balder leggings, knight, fang bar. Exactly what I could. Whoa. Should people stop freaking me out? <laughs> yeah, like, technically, I suppose you could. It just fists do very, very little damage and have a very, very, like, hard time handling any other weapon. That's why you should at least get a tier one. And also, I'm, as much as I'm saying, saying you can handle a tier three with a tier one. It still takes skill. Like you need to know what you're doing and be able to manage this. And it even takes a, it might even take a bit of luck too, depending on how how well you can handle this. Like luck's definitely a factor in this game, as I should point out. Because like you could end up in going to your first building and picking up like the best tier two weapon possible and a backpack and like a man jacker and. A health stem and a, and a um, item that will let you get, stat, get your stats boosted up. Like, you could end up doing that. Slightly unlikely that you get all the best stuff in one room, but you could end up doing that, is the thing. Or at least in the first couple buildings. Or you can enter a building and get absolutely nothing from it. And then run out of the building to the next building and counter a player who's already gotten all this stuff because they're the ones who got lucky and got this. And so some situations it is best to simply run away. Like like no one to hold them and no one to fold them basically. Wow, that's hitting me way too Wow, okay. Is it more pro or something? Oh shoot, and that'll kill me. Dang it. Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Peculiar doll. Oh yeah, that thing reminds me of Bloodborne. I mentioned that before. Alright. Yeah, sometimes you're just unlucky. In which case, just like... It just kind of. I mean, it's fine because then you just can immediately start over a match. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like you're just going to be like, oh, now I have to sit here for 10 minutes waiting for my team to finish or something like that. No, you just 
leave and go do another match and <laughs> hope you get better luck this time. As sometimes you can just get bad luck. And that's definitely a way to die. Actually in my case, I usually actually get kind of a like mixed luck type of thing. Where usually in my case, I encounter like no other players the entire match until like the very, 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 very end game. <laughs> so I, I'm just free to go around collecting up whatever the heck I want to collect up <laughs> without worry of anything else. But the issue there, what the? Bro. Oh, that's one of those things. Random strange creatures. Humanity. Huh. I don't know what those things are. I still don't really know. That's one of the things I was talking about that was attacking me around that era of the night where I got the, uh, the, um, flame thing. Flame holders. Whatchamacallit. He's standing right on top of my souls. Oh, nope. Failing. Time to run. Trying to unlock. There we go. Ow. Like, he's hitting that way too accurately and way too quickly. I am not very pre appreciative of him, of him doing so. Ow. That's hitting way too well there. Dang it. Ah, uh, okay. Just have to come back, I guess. So how are these guys just keep respawning? I feel, feel like they should be just kind of mini-bosses of the area. I mean, they are dropping like 2,000 souls each. So the ghost guys are just nuisances. And just more reason for them to be mini-bosses, not... Uh, not full-fledged, just random NPC character things. It's not NPC, it's like em enemies. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you can most certainly get bad luck in the calling, and then just re-roll and go again. Like, take take your take your reward for going into the match in the first place and leave. <laughs> at least at the point when I was playing, the reward for winning was the same as you get for losing. It's almost entirely the same thing. It just kind of, you play for the enjoyment of playing, and just getting more cool stuff, which you get just simply for playing. Because only one player is going to win in the end. Unless you're playing co the partner mode I was talking about, which I'll get to in a minute. In which case, you can have two winners. Yeah, so, 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 so how the final match ends up in the middle of the arena, I should probably get to that now, is... At 10 minutes in, there'll be like a lurch that there's 10 minutes left, and the like the outer outer ring is gonna start closing. And basically, this poisonous gas will start flowing in from the hitting way too accurately. But yeah, this poisonous gas will actually start coming in from there. Am I stuck on something? What the heck? Get up there. There we go. There's that little ghost guy who wants to fight me. Killed his master. Get my souls back. Good. Oh, there's more of those guys in here. Come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> 